from the historic Loretto Abbey Chapel. With the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents The Daily TV Mass. Hello and welcome to the celebration of the Daily TV Mass. I'm Father John Berteo. This Mass is being offered for my parents, Manuel and Josefina Berteo, as well as the souls in purgatory. May they all rest in peace. We know that this television mass brings meaning to the lives of thousands of Canadians all across the land and around the world. And we thank you for joining us for this celebration of the Daily TV Mass as we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We continue to celebrate in the spirit of that beautiful time of celebrating Jesus coming amongst us. And now just after the Epiphany, we continue to celebrate and give thanks to God. But before doing that, we acknowledge our sins and ask for forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father and you're to seat for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who are pleased to shine forth with new light through the coming of your only begotten Son, grant, we pray, that just as he was pleased to share our bodily form through the childbearing of the Virgin Mary, so we too may one day merit to become companions in this kingdom of grace, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of John. Beloved, who is it that conquers the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ, not with the water only, but the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one that testifies, for the Spirit is the truth. There are three that testify, the Spirit and the water and the blood, and these three agree. If we receive human testimony, the testimony of God is greater, for this is the testimony of good, of God, that he has testified to his Son. Those who believe in the Son of God have the testimony in their hearts, those who do not believe in God have made him a liar by not believing in the testimony that God has given concerning his son. And this is the testimony. God gave us eternal life, and this life is in his son. Whoever has the son has life. Whoever does not have the son of God does not have life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he strengthens the bars of your gates. He blesses your children within you. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He grants peace within your borders. He fills you with the finest of wheat. He sends out his command to the earth. His word runs swiftly. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He declares his words to Jacob. 
his statutes and ordinances to Israel. He has not dealt thus with any other nation. They do not know his ordinances. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The heavens were opened and the Father's voice was heard. This is my beloved Son, hear him. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the River Jordan, confessing their sins. John proclaimed, the one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I'm not worthy to, stop, to stoop down and unite, untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, Jesus saw the heavens torn open and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved. With you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. I remember in the mid-90s, my parents and I took a a family trip to Montreal. It was a real special treat for us because we took the train. It was luxury because we usually went to Montreal and I had to do the driving. But so this was a very special treat, going luxury in the train all the way there and back. When we got there, my uncle took us to one of his favorite places to visit. It was St. Joseph's Oratory of Montreal in the province of Quebec. I remember us, we climbed these very, very long and steep steps to enter a huge church. It could seat, at that time I thought maybe a thousand people, if not, it was just huge. I was very really tiny. To the side there was a room full of uh, small vigil candles that gave the room and the church sort of, a, you know what I'm talking about, a churchy smell a nice, warm smell to be, but very pleasant to be there. Now, there were so many people there and candles lit that we had to wait our turn to get the free spot to light our own little candle and to put it there in veneration of our own prayers. As we waited, my uncle took us to a small wooden chapel just, just off to the side. Uh, it's something that was, had the image of Blessed André Basset. As I was looking in at this image, I heard my dad say in a very, very quiet voice, he said, so simple, yet so holy and inspirational, referring to the statue of Blessed André, Saint André. My dad's words made a huge impact on me. Later on, as we were traveling around in that beautiful place, I saw a statement engraved in a plaque written by St. André, or said by St. André, and I quote, I have rarely come across anyone who has come to the oratory and was left without feeling better off 
more comforted or without being received or having received some favor. That was us as well. We left feeling so much better for just having been there. Nothing huge, but just feeling better and relaxed. Today, we celebrate the optional memorial of St. André Bessette, who died in 1937 and died at the beautiful age of 91 years of age. He came from a very poor family, and at the age of 12, he was orphaned and went to stay at a, as a gatekeeper with the Holy Cross Fathers. He was, records indicate, he was very sickly, simple, and very prayerful with a great devotion to St. Joseph. He encouraged those he met to turn to St. Joseph for all their needs, and many were answered through his intercession as well. St. Andre submitted himself to doing God's will, and he accomplished so much, so much. Now, please check him out. If you haven't already, if you don't know something about him, and in the oratory that was built under his guidance and inspiration, maybe on the internet or getting some books. You see, friends, Jesus submitted himself to John the Baptist for his baptism, also submitting himself. The question might be then, as we hear in the Gospels, why? Why would Jesus submit himself to a baptism when he had no sins? <laughs> he, was, he was perfect, totally clean. A Bible commentary states that, and I quote, in this humble submission, we see a foreshadowing of the baptism of his bloody death on the cross. Jesus' baptism is the acceptance and the beginning of his mission as God's suffering servant. Jesus allowed himself to be numbered among sinners, even though he was not a sinner. He submitted himself entirely to doing his Father's will. Thy will be done. Out of love, he consented to his baptism of the death and for the death and the remission of yours and my sins, the sins of all humanity that we need so much forgiveness from. Do you know the joy and the trust of submitting to God? One of those ways, as I said many times before, of the experience of submitting to freedom is to avail ourselves of the sacrament of confession. A good confession can free you from the past stuff and go forward, go forward totally free, and maybe, who knows, be able to walk with a lighter weight on your shoulders. I understand that for some it takes a great deal of courage to submit to having sinned and ask God for forgiveness through the ministry of a priest who also is a sinner, but has the empowerment through the God to forgive those sins. Finally, <laughs> three years ago today, I was holding my dear mom's hand when she took her last breath. Her soul departed into eternity total submission and in great peace. Submission and great peace. Why? Because this lady, not because she was my mom, but she received the sacrament of reconciliation on a regular basis. She knew, she knew that she needed forgiveness, that she needed acceptance. And all the years that I've gotten to know her, I too got to realize I need forgiveness. And I'm suggesting to you as well, no one of, of us is above being forgiveness. You see, every time I think of my mother, I recall another saying of Saint André. And it so comforts me in so many ways, and it's no secret with you as well, those who've seen me or heard me preach before on my great devotion, not just to my dear mom, who I pray is in heaven rooting for me, but to our heavenly mother as well. And so Saint André stated, we ought to love the Blessed Virgin. She is the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ. We should implore her in all our needs and thanksgiving in never neglecting to pray together. 
And so I invite you to please take a moment and pray with me. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And with Mary and all the saints, we turn to our Lord in petition for all of those in our daily TV Mass and all the, those names who are recorded in our parish intention books. We pray to the Lord. During this season of Christmas, we ask glorious, glorious God to hear our community Christmas prayer for those experiencing loneliness and abandonment that they may find the peace they hope for. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the Holy Father, may he continues, continue devotion to Mary, continue to inspire us to follow his lead in honoring our Blessed Mother. We pray to the Lord. For those who seek forgiveness of their sins and peace, we pray to the Lord. For all the seas, brothers and sisters, including my parents, of course, we pray to the Lord. For these and for all those prayers in the silence of our hearts, we give them to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For if you can receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless us, God, God, forever. To the mystery of this water and wine, may you come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through us we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God, God with humble spirit, blessed. I have say peace to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for the good will of his holy church. Almighty ever living God, who through your church begot through your begotten, who through your only begotten Son have made us a new creation for, for yourself, grant we pray that by your grace we may be found in the likeness of him in whom our nature is united to you who lives and reigns in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this off-filled mystery, through invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours and begotten before all ages. He has begun to exist in time so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy. And earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so, so, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, 
by the same Spirit, graciously make all these gifts we have brought you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command you celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his once resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain and enhance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on this constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm with faith and charity, O Pilgrim Church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Francis, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, and all the clergy, and the entire people you've gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you've summoned before you in your compassion O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind and minister your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom we stow in the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grace us to go to peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Wherever you are at this moment in time, pause for a moment, give thanks to God for all your blessings, and ask him to you, share your blessings with others who also need the peace we share. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter in my room, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Christ me to everlasting life. Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I passionately desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my soul, so that I may unite myself wholly to you, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. May your people, O Lord, whom you guide and sustain in many ways, experience both now and in the future the remedies which you bestow that, the, that with the needed solace of things that pass away, they may strive with ever-dependent trust for things eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go from this Eucharist in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Merry Christmas. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass. Joy.